Fans are getting an unheard of glimpse inside Celine Dion's tribulations during the last few years of her life. After being diagnosed with stiff person syndrome in August 2022, the 56-year-old superstar tentatively but proudly returns to the recording studio in a devastating sequence towards the end of her new documentary, I Am, Celine Dion, available for streaming globally on Prime Video. Shortly after, as part of her continuous treatment regimen, she makes her way to physical therapy and her foot starts to hurt. Dion's body locks up, indicating that she is in severe agony when her care team gives her a nasal spray of diazepam during the SPS crisis episode. One of her teammates says, we'll do a 911 if she goes back into a spasm. You feel so embarrassed every time something like this happens, Dion remarks in the movie's epilogue. I don't know how to express it, you don't like to not have control of yourself, you know? The five-time Grammy winner fought back on the horrifying moment that director Irene Taylor's crew captured on camera during her People Cover interview. One aspect of the SPS condition is that overstimulation can trigger a crisis for me, regardless of the stimulus, happiness, sadness, sound, or surprise, Dion adds, adding that she did not see the crisis episode coming that day. I was fine, and then something was triggered. Taylor's understanding of the condition deepened when she was two feet away from Dion during the crisis. That was truly an extraordinary thing, not only for Celine to experience, but for me to witness, Taylor adds. I kept filming because that is my mode of operating, and then I figured we would determine afterward whether to edit that into the film. Taylor and Dion had forged a close relationship by the time the movie was in post-production and I knew that putting it in the film was really not a risk because she believed in me at that point," comments Taylor. She is an open book, and she was really there and holding nothing back, so I really can only thank her for that. Dion is attempting to humanize the uncommon illness through the movie and contribute to fundraising efforts for scientific studies in the pursuit of a solution. Neuropathy has a very broad spectrum. For this reason, I'm making a lot of effort to raise money so that people can speak with their husbands, neighbors, or friends about it," Dion explains. Adds Dr. Amanda Paquette, the doctor who diagnosed Dion and director of the University of Colorado Anschutz Medical Campus's program on autoimmune neurology, there are many exciting things in store for SPS, and the future looks bright.